Well, good evening everyone. This is Tiny here. Um, this is episode one of what I hope to be uh, a long-lasting video podcast. Um, last time I tried it didn't work out for very long, but we're going to try this time. Uh, working with the best that I got right now, uh, using my phone as a webcam and my headset. And that's really, really about it. Um, sorry about the terrible quality. I am working on getting a better microphone. But for now, this is what we got, and we're gonna go with it. Uh, I'd like to start off with uh, what's going on in Trove, uh, hence the name of the podcast, What's Up in Trove. Um, today, actually, uh, when I'm recording this, uh, Tuesday the 3rd, uh, was a patch in Trove that added a brand new player experience. Um, this includes a new tutorial and old players if you'd like to experience the new tutorial you can do slash tutorial and view the tutorial. Uh, I did go in myself and take a look at it and they added a lot to the, to the previous tutorial which I don't really remember that much which is not the point of a tutorial. Um, what they did fix is uh, they added some lore to the game and they went over movement a lot but they didn't do anything in terms of combat which is uh, kind of the main part of the game is combat um, so I think they should add something like that to the tutorial but it is a great start and a wonderful upgrade uh, they put you on the island like, like a little island tower um, the last remnants of the what what do they call it the uh, the sun goddess I believe um, they put you in the sun got the last remaining portion of the sun goddess uh, castle and they put some lore in there um, of which I can I can do some reading on that in a bit um, the uh, they also added some tutorial pop-ups uh, sorry I'm looking off the screen here it's kind of weird. I've got my uh, my notes written behind. Still haven't got a good setup yet, but like I said, rolling with it. Just hit the record button and go. Um, they added tutorial pop-ups to the game. Uh, these are little screens that will pop up and kind of guide you in the right direction a bit. Um, so like when I first got in the game today, actually, a pop-up told me that I should go and hit up the adventure portal the uh, the first rank adventure portal and that's definitely going to be a, that's a step in the right direction to get new players into Trove and kind of walk them through and get them started kind of give them a direction sort of and I mean, when I first jumped into Trove I had no idea what I was doing and so these these pop-ups are definitely going to help guide players in in the right direction excuse me um they also added uh, some more they also added some stuff to the store um, kind of go into a segment called the store news kind of keep the the game news separate from the store news um, they ended the winter season pin up pinatas and went ahead and added the spring pinatas and along with the spring pinatas they added a new ultimate party option now what that gives you is 100 pinatas now, if that wasn't a lot of pinatas, 100 pinatas, which is a lot, I, I, so many pinatas, I, a lot of pinatas to, to drop for you and your friends. Um, they also added a microphone, and I'm not quite sure how that works. Um, but the microphone, apparently, from what I've read, and if I understand it correctly, they it basically announces that you're having a pinata party. Um, so it'll be interesting to s when I run into that in-game to see how that works, but uh, it's, it's an interesting idea. Um, the ultimate piñata party option is uh, 9,000 credits. Uh, that ends up being, after I ran some numbers on the old calculator, to be about 90 credits per piñata, and that's about 55% off. So if you're in for the piñatas for uh, wanting a lot of them, it's definitely good to buy in bulk. Uh, that's for sure. Saves you a lot of credits in the long run. Uh, they also randomized, re-randomized the uh, the chaos chests, and I'm I'm still not 100% sure how I feel about the chaos chests, but they're there. So 
uh, we're gonna we're gonna rock with them. Um, they added uh, along with a bunch of random stuff like materials and um, like chestnuts I think are in there. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm not not super super prepared um, and nervous, but hey, rolling with it. Um, the the interesting interesting key things that they added to the chaos chests are uh, possible early access to the dance pad. I think I have something here. Let me play it here. Uh, the, the dance pad is kind of, I, I guess, just a, a dance pad, as it sounds. But what I like about it, I did come across somebody in game who had it, and it plays a fun little tune. Oh, I didn't hit the mute button. Well, that's new. Um, but yeah, so they, they added a dance pad. Plays a nice, nice little fun dance tune and puts your character dancing on it. I think the guy was uh, a dragon doing the Gagnum style dance on it. It was 10 out of 10 on the adorable scale, I have to say. Uh, almost got me to buy some chaos chests, but yeah. Uh, they also added the possibility to get uh, one of two skins, which is the new Sharpshooter skin and the Blood Knight. I have yet to see those in-game, um, so I don't really know what they look like, so I can't really judge them based off of that, and I don't really play the Knight or the or the, um, the Archer, or no, it's not the Archer, the Gunslinger. Wow, where is my mind tonight? Um, th I don't really play the Gunslinger either, and I think the, sh the Sharpshooter is for the Gunslinger, but I could be wrong, so human mistakes happen. Um, but that is, I think, everything they added to the store. Um, they, they did a bunch of, uh, hot fixes, or fixes to the game, just a bunch of various fixes. Uh, one of the more important ones is 60 players are now allowed in the club world, which means more club parties, uh, maybe more people for your, uh, ultimate pinata party. I don't know, uh, whatever floats your boat in the, uh, in your club world. Uh, they also did a just a bunch of uh, audio, visual, and class fixes, uh, which you can you can see the full list on uh, the Trove Game website, and I've also got a link to it in the, the show notes for this week. Um, so that's that's the news for this week in Trove. Um, pretty much, I, I'd like to go into what I've been up to in Trove, and not not a whole lot. Um, running around doing the usual, farming up mats. Uh, got a neat little pen amount, and I love that. It's adorable. Um, I'll have to find out who, who made that and give credit to them, because it, it is adorable. The most adorable panda has little rainbow footprints. Yeah, it's cute. 10 out of 10. I know. I'm a sucker for cute. What can I say? Um, so I got that. Uh, I got the, the pen amount. Uh, I've been playing a lot of my Shadow Hunter. I, I think I really took a bonding to that class. That, uh, class. Um, I think it's just the, the strategy involved in when to throw the traps and how to manage your energy between the traps and your ultimate that, that makes that class special. Uh, but we'll see. Then again, I also buy every class when it comes out because, I don't know, I just, I like, like the randomization, nice, uh, little bit of difference in between each, each of the classes. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much been my week in Trove, um. Aside from the patch and the the randomization to the store uh, and the new player experience there, I haven't really been doing too much. Um, oh, I did. Um, can't believe I forgot to put this in the notes. Is uh, I redid my cornerstone into uh, with the the previous one or two patches ago when they added the sky biome. They added the uh, the little uh, eh, what do you call them? little blocks that when you jump on it with your wings you kind of fly up into the air. Um, I, I put a bunch of those around the center of my uh, cornerstone and then built a big box around it and made it kind of like rainbow shaped so when you ride it up with the wings it takes you up to sky height and you land on the top of this balcony and then you can just kind of skydive down. And it was pretty cool, pretty neat. I was proud of it. I liked it. It was fun. Um, but that's, that's been my week in Trove. Um, not really super, super eventful aside from those. 
Um, I'd like to, uh, oh, let me, I almost forgot, the, uh, the lore, um, there's not a whole lot of lore in the game right now, uh, I know there's a lot of fan lore going on on the, the Reddit forums and the Trove forums, but the developers did put some official lore in there, and so I'll, I'll take a, a minute here, and, uh, this, there is spoilers here, um, if you want to experience it for yourself, then I guess pause the, the podcast or the video or, um, and go experience it for yourself. Everything is taken from the tutorial, and if you do slash tutorial, it will take you there, and you can read all this and experience it for yourself. But, uh, yeah, so I, I'll give you a couple seconds to do that. Um, excuse me for just a second. Ooh, sorry about that. Okay, I think that's enough time. Uh, so if you'll excuse me here, turn my little head here to my script that I wrote up. <clears throat> so this is the Trove lore that we know now. This all takes place at the Temple of the Sun Goddess. Her radiance once protected all realms, above and below. The moon grew jealous of the sun. It was no, no great surprise. A great shadow, long lost, was now freed. At dawn the battle began, by nightfall it was lost. Her radiance knew nightfall would bring an end to everything, and so sacrificed herself and her realm. Now you must step forth and enter the prime realm, join the battle, and become the beacon of light. So... That's the lore as we know. Uh, basically, we are beacons of light uh, fighting for the sun goddess. Kind of excited. Give me chills. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of chills there for reading that. Um, kind of exciting uh, that we actually have a purpose now in Trove. It's not just run around, uh, break blocks, mine the ore, build your cornerstone. We, we are, I guess, beacons of light for the sun goddess. Um, we should have a battle cry. Yeah. I was going to ask what class the Sun Goddess would have been, but I'm going to change the question of the week. Uh, and I'll, actually, I'll roll into that now. Um, I'm going to try to aim to have a question of the week, and I think this week's question is going to be, what is the Sun Goddess's battle cry? I'm, I'm thinking it's maybe like uh, a Xena. Xena Warrior Princess? I, oof. Yeah. Xena Warrior Princess. Kind of like, ah, la, 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 la. No, that, that was racist. No. All hail the sun goddess. Something like that. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, that's embarrassing. I'm not going to edit that out. No, I'm going to leave it there. Um, so yeah, that's that's going to be the question of the week. Is uh, what, uh, what would the sun goddess's battle cry be? Uh, and I mean, if you want to answer what class she would have been, that, that's alright. Or we can save that for another week. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's going to close out this this episode of What's Up With Trove. Uh, and I hope I answered the question this week with what is up with Trove. Um, you can find the... Po I almost made it. Uh, you can find me on Twitter. Uh, Alan91330 is the Twitter name. Uh, my name is Alan. Uh, I go by Tiny in Trove as well. If you want to find me, add me at anything. It doesn't really matter. Um... And you can email if you have any comments, questions, or concerns at whatsupwithtrove at gmail.com. And you can find the show notes for this week's video podcast at whatsupwithtrove.blogspot.com. Um, yeah, I think that's going to end it. I know it was a little rusty this week, but... The main thing is I got it done. Not not got it done. That sounds terrible. I, the main thing is that I got it ready, recorded. I, I'm very a very shy person, and I was very hesitant about hitting the record button, but especially with a video podcast, because uh, not really used to people seeing me. I'm, I'm a basement dweller. Yeah. I, yeah. Anyway, but yeah, um, so hit me up on Twitter, uh, hit me up in game, I'd love to play with some people, uh, might, might live stream, not quite sure, not, not anytime soon, at least, 
Um, so we'll see how that all works out, how the podcast goes, and recording, and how it goes. But I do, I do want to keep the podcast going. Um, so but for now, it's just going to be YouTube, and I'll probably throw the MP3 on a uh, apparently mega upload or something like that, so people can download it and listen to it on the go, put it on their uh, iPods, phones, and whatnot. But yeah, so that's that's gonna be uh, the show, I think. Yeah, I don't really have a way to end it, so I guess uh, we can uh, we can do one of these.